Bernardo Alberto Jauce April 10, 1887, to September 21, 1971, was an Argentine physiologist who, in 1947, was a co-recipient of a Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine for his discovery of the role played by pituitary hormones in regulating the amount of blood sugar glucose in animals. He was the first Latin American Nobel laureate in the sciences. He shared the prize with Carl Ferdinand Cori and Gerdy Cori, who won for their discoveries regarding the role of glucose in carbohydrate metabolism. Biography Early life Bernardo Alberto Jauce was born in Buenos Aires, to émigrés from France, Albert and Clara Jauce. A precocious youngster, he was admitted to the pharmacy school at the University of Buenos Aires at 14 years of age and subsequently to the medical school of the same university from 1904 to 1910, beginning when he was only 17 years old. While a third-year medical student, Hausse took up a post as a research and teaching assistant in the chair of physiology. Topic. Career After graduating, he quickly developed and presented his MD thesis on the physiological activities of pituitary extracts, published in 1911, a theme he would pursue for the rest of his scientific career. Since 1908 he was already an assistant lecturer in the same department, and immediately after his doctorate he took up the post of professor of physiology in the university's School of Veterinary Medicine. Simultaneously, he started a private practice and as assistant physician at the Municipal Hospital of Buenos Aires. In 1913 he became chief physician at the Alviar Hospital, and, in 1915, chief of the section of experimental pathology at the National Public Health Laboratories in Buenos Aires. In 1919 Jauce was appointed to the Chair of Physiology at the University of Buenos Aires Medicine School, and, until 1943, he transformed and directed it into a highly respected research department in experimental physiology and medicine of international class. In that year, however, the military dictatorship deprived him of his university posts, due to his liberal political ideas and Jauce was forced to re-establish his research lines and staff at a privately funded Instituto de Biología y Medicina Experimental. This situation, reinforced by a second dismissal by the Peronist government in 1945, was prolonged until 1955, when Perón was ousted from power and Jauce was reinstated in the University of Buenos Aires, where he remained until he died. After this he was also director of the National Scientific and Technical Research Council, from 1957 on. Housies worked in many fields of physiology, such as the nervous, digestive, respiratory and circulatory systems, but his main contribution, which was recognized by the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine of 1947, was on the experimental investigation of the role of the anterior hypophysis gland in the metabolism of carbohydrates, particularly in diabetes mellitus. Hausse demonstrated in the 1930s the diabetogenic effect anterior hypophysis extracts and the decrease in diabetes severity with anterior hypophysectomy. These discoveries stimulated the study of hormonal feedback control mechanisms which are central to all aspects of modern endocrinology. Housie's many disciples along his years of activity became also influential by themselves as they spread around the world, such as Eduardo Braun Menendez, and Miguel Rolando Covian who went to become the father of Brazilian neurophysiology, as chairman of the Department of Physiology of the Medical Faculty of Ribeirão Preto of the University of São Paulo. Jauce wrote with them the most influential textbook of human physiology in Latin America, in Spanish and Portuguese the latter was translated by Covian and collaborators, which, since 1950 has been published in successive editions and used in almost all medical schools of the continent. Hausse published more than 600 scientific papers and several specialized books. Besides the Nobel, Hausse won many distinctions and awards from the universities of Harvard, Cambridge, Oxford and Paris and 15 other universities, as well as the Dale Medal of the Society for Endocrinology in 1960. Hausse was also very active as a scientific leader and promoter of the advancement of scientific research and medical education, in Argentina as well as in Latin America. Hausse was elected a foreign member of the Royal Society in 1943. References 
Topic. Further reading Functions of the Pituitary Gland. Boston, 1936. The Hypothesis and Secretion of Insulin. Journal of Experimental Medicine, New York, 1942, 75-547-566. Hausse, B. A., Foglia, V. G., Smith, F. S., Rieti, C. T., Hausse, A. B. 1942. The Hypothesis and Secretion of Insulin. The Journal of Experimental Medicine. 75 547-66. Doi 10.1084 gem 75.5.547 PMC 2135268 PMID 19,000,000 271,205 Escritos y discursos Buenos Aires 1942 The role of the hypothesis in carbohydrate metabolism and in diabetes Nobel Prize lecture 1947 Physiologia Humana. Buenos Aires, 1950. Official site of his life and works in Castilian Bernardo Alberto Hausse. Humamedit. Bernardo Alberto Hausse Biography. Nobel Foundation. Topic. External links Newspaper clippings about Bernardo Hausse in the 20th Century Press Archives of the German National Library of Economics ZBW.